Summer's almost over, but there are still some great travel deals out there, and most people think that means going online to hunt for them. Even President Obama recently used travel agents as an example of a dying profession. But the fact is, there are still 14,000 travel agencies active in the United States, and 94% of them expect to make a profit this year. How's it possible in this age of point and click? Well, here's ABC's John Donvan. Against all predictions, the bricks and mortar travel agency, the kind you can walk into and talk to real people at, is alive and well. Jody, may I help you? At least this one is hopping midweek in Manhattan, because even with summer coming to an end, people can't wait to get away again. Have a great trip. People like John Parsegian. I'm on my way to Mykonos. Monica Robinson. Southern Caribbean 2012. Michelle Romero. We're doing a family cruise. Pat Sutherland Cohen. Istanbul, somewhere I haven't been before. Indeed, even with all the recession talk that's in the air, this place, it's called Liberty Travel, they're doing well, according to its CEO. More people are coming through the door than, say, five years ago. The number of customers is, has grown every year. But wait a minute, bricks and mortar? That's what Borders was in the book business, and the internet killed that off. Wasn't the same thing supposed to happen to travel agents? The kind that advertised like this on TV? <laughs> Ask your Liberty Travel agent about the Get Carried Away Bahamas package or call 1-800. Wasn't everybody supposed to go online to find rock-bottom travel packages and cut out the middleman? Wasn't that the point they made on 30 Rock not long ago? <gasps> who are you? Better to ask who we used to be. People whose professions are no longer a thing. Once, I was called travel agent. We live under the subways with the CEO of Friendster. Well, guess what? There is a migration back to traditional retail travel agents. At least to those who survived, some by going online completely themselves. Because the truth is, the internet did change the game, a game that had lasted a very long time. But before the internet, you had travel agents almost like high priests. And if you wanted to travel, you had to go to that church. You had to go to that church. But there were 30,000 travel agencies uh, as in the 1980s, even into the 1990s. And shockingly, more than half of those are gone. But that also means that nearly half are still here. An amazing 14,000 retail travel agencies are still in business. And Liberty is one of them. So what is the um, secret sauce then? It's our vacation experts. It's, it's our people. In short, dealing with a travel agent is still a human experience. You have a preference on the time. In a way that doing business on the internet maybe is not. Humans you can talk to when you're booking travel. An airline website, no. As traveler Pat puts it. It's like anything else. Wouldn't you go to a professional to get the best idea of service? And what does that service include? Well, first of all, it's real backup. When something goes wrong, you have someone to call. You can call me also. Like all those people stuck in the path of Hurricane Irene last week and even into this week. But if they were Liberty customers, they could call in. And more than 300 did. Liberty was able to change their plans with minimum fuss to get them where they wanted to go. No holding for hours on the phone. All the work done for them. You, did, you were doing that kind of service Absolutely. for people? Yeah. We actually acquire a lot of customers around events like that. Second in the list of service, it's real knowledge about the world out there knowing languages, having personally been to a lot of the places they're sending people, knowing the right questions to ask customers. How long a time do you have to go? Four nights, and third in the service category, believe it or not, is price. At Liberty, they say they can almost always get you a standard package deal at or near the same price that you would pay online. Yeah, it was more expensive if I booked get on their site. I tried it too, working with travel agent Jody Miller. I'm Jody, nice to meet you. Or travel expert, as they like to be called now. I showed Jody the prices for a package deal I found online on one of the most popular travel sites, a trip to Rome from Newark with specific dates that I gave her. You're getting 16 21 per person. So that's what she needed to match or beat. 16 21 a person, two rooms, four adults. So she went into her system and put in some numbers, and out came the Liberty travel price. I could not do the same sixteen twenty one per person. But on top of that, she said she could knock ten dollars off the price per person to make it cheaper than booking online, which was a nice surprise. And then she found something I had not found online: a non-stop flight to Rome. If you go on Continental, non-stop out of Newark. It might be $40 higher. But that, that's the kind of conversation I'm not going to have with a website. No, absolutely not. So, backup, knowledge, and price. Oh, and the human touch. That's what's keeping these guys in business. And on this day, it's what put John here on a plane to Greece. Bon voyage. I'm John Donvan for Nightline.
in New York.